I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is April 8th, 2018. And in this video, I want to do a little talk uh, going over using weight versus filament length to estimate the cost of a print. Okay, now, recent, most of the videos I've been doing recently, I've been trying to estimate the cost of a print. You know, the electricity cost, the PLA cost, and kind of show an estimate. It's kind of nice to see what a, a print might cost before you go print it. Um, now, as I've been doing that, I've been using the filament length. And the main reason I've been using the filament length is because on this Prusa i3 I Mark III, it actually keeps track of the entire filament length. And so I was using that and using some calculations that I've seen other people use, that there's 333 millimeters in a spool and estimating $20 and print out to around six cents per, you know, six cents per meter. And that worked okay. Uh, but it's uh, not as convenient a calculation as I, th as I think it could be compared to what I'm doing for electricity. Now for electricity, I'm using 10 cents per kilowatt. Now I know around the country, different people have different prices. You might be in a place where it's 4.2 cents. You might be in a place where it's 30 cents per kilowatt. And if that's the case, it's very easy to take my estimate of price for electricity and adjust it. So if you're 30 cents and I'm using 10 cents, you just triple it. If you are using, uh, if yours is five cents, you just divide what I have in half. So it makes the calculations very easy to adjust uh, for what you're doing. Or in the case of electricity, really, it turns out electricity is so cheap that you can probably just kind of ignore my number, uh, or at least not, you don't need to adjust it. Uh, but for filament cost, there could be a big adjustment because if, if you're using, uh, you know, if, you know, most of the uh, filament I've been buying is, is in one kilogram chunks. And if I'm, if mine costs $20 and yours costs $30 because you like a different kind of filament, you got to go do a lot of calculations to tweak the number I came up with to get the number you came up with. And so somebody here, um, Edmund Diogelski here, actually posted a little comment saying, have you thought about using weight to calculate how much the filament cost is? That's how I do it, using a simple kitchen scale. Obviously, the more accurate scale is, the more accurate calculation will be. And so I thought about that, and I thought, well, my calculation, trying to adjust my calculation for whatever your real situation is for filament is really difficult. And I shouldn't say really difficult, but you have to think about it some more than compared to my electricity cost. Um, and also, I've recently had some issues with the Prusa i3 Mark III, where it keeps running total of the filament you've used, and it's been wigging out. So at one point, I was getting up to... I don't know what point it wigged out, but somewhere between 1,300 meters and 1,600 meters, I'm not sure when, all of a sudden it just bumped up to 15,000 kilometers, uh, which I obviously hadn't done. And so I, I started re-estimating based on that. I went, okay, and I'm at 15, I'll just adjust it. And it was working just fine for a while. Uh, then it bumped up to 30 kilometers for no good reason, when it should have been about maybe three uh, and then the other day it bumped up to 45 kilometers or 44. I'd have to go look again, but it, all of a sudden it bumped up a, a bigger number. And I, I was like, this is, this is going to be hard. Luckily, every time I've, I printed something out, it didn't bump in between those numbers as best I could tell. Uh, so I was able to cal get a, a good number for the filament length. Uh, so there's that issue too. So there's that issue that makes me think it's a better idea to use weight, uh, but also just to calculate it. So if I say it's very, I mean, it's very, very simple. So if I say, Hey, I'm a one kilogram roll for me costs 20 bucks. And by the way, this took half a kilogram. And if your roll is, and if your roll is $30, all you gotta do is, is times 30 times half a kilogram. Cause I'll, I'll give you the weight and you can adjust it based on your actual cost of materials. So like the electricity, it's an easy calculation to do. So I think I like the idea. I think I'm going to start using weight versus filament length to estimate the cost. Uh, and not that the cost is going to be perfect, but if you're within, if I'm within two or three percent of the, or even five percent of what the actual cost would be for me, and it's easy for you to adjust it based on your electricity cost and your actual filament cost, um, I think that's a win. So I'm going to take something I just recently printed that I know what the Prusa filament length is, and go weigh it and and see what I get. Uh, oh, but before I do, I'll just show real quickly. I have a scale here I bought years ago. I think I bought in, there you go, 2013, that I use for mailing packages. And here it is on Amazon. I guess they still sell it. And it's the American Way Scale PS25 that I 
I forget how much I paid for it, but it looks like it's going for about under 25 bucks right now. And it, it's worked pretty well. I've mailed all kinds of things with it with no complaints. So I think it's going to be accurate enough. But I just wanted to point that out. That's the scale I'm going to be using. And I also have some uh, some masses here so I can kind of test the scale to see how accurate it is before I even start putting filament on it. But let's go see what I can find out. Okay, so here's this old scale I've been using, which you apparently can still get on Amazon. So let me just turn it on. I've got some masses here. I want to just see how accurate it is. So I gotta turn it on, let it settle itself. Okay, so first I got a 20 gram weight. 20 grams. And then I got a, what are you? 50. 50 grams, so I have a hundred. Oh, now you're deciding to be funny. Oh, there we go. 100. There you go. Let's see. I got a 500 and a kilogram. So let me just see how well it goes up the scale. 500. And a kilogram. Close enough. <laughs> Two per, no. Less than 1% off. Okay, so for my needs, this works. As far as the weight goes, I mean, this is this is accurate enough because I mean we're not doing surgery, right? So I printed this off recently, and this took, according to uh, the numbers I got from my Prusa i3 Mark III, twelve point nine one meters. And using my estimate I was using before, which said a meter of filament cost six cents, which is based on the idea of one kilogram of filament was twenty dollars, and one kilogram of filament uh, had 333 meters. And if you use that, it comes out to 77 cents. And there's a little 4 after it. So 77.4 cents is what that estimate would be. Um, but let me, I just weighed this recently. Let's see if I get the same number I got last time. And I got 0 0.04. Yeah, 0 0.04. So the nice, the nice thing about using the mass is I can just multiply it by how much I actually paid for the one kilogram of filament. So in this case, uh, even though I paid a little bit less, I'll just use I'll keep using the twenty dollar number because it makes it simple. Uh, so just twenty times 0.04 is eighty cents. So that makes it real, real simple math. And so seventy seven cents is worth is versus eighty cents. And I think this is probably more accurate. So I think this is really the way to go. Uh, not only for I, I think this is probably more accurate. But also it makes the calculations a lot more simpler for anybody else out there who wants to print this in some exotic material that costs $30 or $50 a kilogram. They can just see that I'm, I'm going to put up the number that says, hey, 0 0.04 kilograms. And I'll still say, hey, I'm using $20, I'm, I'm using $20 as an estimate, and so I have a total for mine. And that might work for 80% of the people out there. But if all of a sudden you're using a different you know, you're using something more expensive, you can easily recalculate it versus trying to figure out what I did with the, the six cents per filament. That's, a little, that's a, not that much math, but it's more math, and this is just easier. So, thanks Edmund, I think this is a much easier way to go, so I think from now on I'm going to start using weight versus filament length. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we are doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.